Hi everybody, this is Chuck from uh, Sincal Smoke. What I'm doing today is I'm going to make a uh, meatball. I have this paper towel here to keep the flies out. We are outside, who knows what's gonna happen. So I've got sage sausage, two pounds, and about two pounds of uh, about 90% ground sirloin. I'm gonna mix that up. I am going to add some uh, minced onion to that. I'm going to throw in an egg so it will all hold together. I'm going to form a flat piece and then I'm going to put sharp cheddar cheese in the middle. I'm going to wrap it in bacon and then eventually my two favorite sauces right now which is the uh, Heath Riles sweet barbecue sauce and the tangy vinegar sauce. I'm gonna mix these 50-50 and lightly coat the outside of these meatballs. And on the inside, I forgot one important ingredient. I'm going to use the reloaded high caliber uh, Chipotle garlic blend. This has got a lot of flavor. Uh, that chipotle garlic is going to be a little touch of spice to it so when i mix the sage and the hamburger and the reloaded rub a little bit of onion into the meatball throw in a cheese wrap it in bacon can't go wrong there and then add that sweet and tangy sauce it's going to be really good I'm going to smoke today on my green mountain grill i'm going to be using the uh, lumberjack supreme pellet which has got oak hickory and cherry in it so I'm gonna go ahead and mix the hamburger up, add in the onion, add in the uh, egg, and of course our reloaded rub, and I'll be uh, back with you shortly. Okay, I've mixed up the, uh, the burger and the sausage. I've added in the onion. I got a pretty good thick consistency on the burger. I don't think it's going to fall apart. That's a, that's a heck of a meatball right there. I don't think it's going to fall apart. So uh, as of right now, I'm going to omit the egg. Um, reload high caliber Chipotle garlic blend. I'm going to give this a, a good dose of love in here um, because I want the flavor. So I'm going to go heavy, as you can see. I don't measure anything. I'm not sure how much is in there, but I want that flavor in there. I want it to go with the sage. I want it to mix in with the onion and bring out everything. I'm just going to kind of mix it in, see what it looks like, and then uh, we can go from there. I may add a little bit more just on the outside, um, but I want that chipotle garlic flavor to come out in this, and we'll see what it does. I'm going to punch it around a little bit more, it's similar to making bread, and then uh, I can get down to making, how do you know when you have enough? I don't know. Uh, like I said, I don't measure anything. I can tell you I got two pounds, no, four pounds total of meat in here so I'm probably gonna add a little bit more now that I'm looking at it the funnest part is getting everything open because again we want this flavor in there I'll give you another peek here and I think this is gonna do it right there this reloaded rub if you haven't tried it it's packed full of flavor um, this particular bottle here so you have an idea is no MSG, gluten-free. Uh, some of their line has no sugar for uh, you keto folks. I'm gonna go ahead and punch this out, start making the uh, flat part and inserting the cheese.
So I've gone ahead and made a meatball, inserted some cheese into it. I'm going to go ahead, just so everybody sees what the heck I'm doing. So I'm making a burger patty, basically. I'm making a little pocket in there. I'm going to grab a ball of cheese and then wrap it around that, like that. So I've already made these here. Um, I'm using my uh, Teflon mat here. And then what I'm going to do next is uh, wrap bacon around those. I've got a little bit of burger left in there. So right now I've got so many balls on there. And we'll get these on the uh, Green Mountain Grill. I'm going to go ahead and finish these out. And then uh, we'll come back. Okay, I have uh, gone ahead and uh, wrapped a couple of these, as you see, and some of them require two pieces of bacon, and I do have plenty of bacon, because I had plans for it in case I had too much left over, so basically all I'm doing is uh, wrapping, look, there's a hole right there, it probably needs another piece of bacon, because we like bacon. So what I'm doing is covering those up like that as much as I can. I'm not going to get them all. And then I find the end tags that I want. And then I shove a toothpick in it to hold it together. Kind of compress it down. I sit. Like this one's a smaller ball. I can stretch this uh, bacon out. And I didn't go with fancy bacon. I have my own bacon. It's got a little maple touch to it so we'll see like that one there's a little short but we're gonna make it work doesn't have to be completely covered but we like bacon now I don't know if you notice but I have a little trick that I do with these toothpicks when I'm doing this I put them in the bacon like that that way I can grab them easy when I've got them out uh, I'm gonna do these pretty hot and fast uh, once I get them on the grill I'm going to do them at about probably 250, 300, I haven't quite decided yet, probably 300. Uh, get them internally to about 165 is the ultimate point. Uh, when they start hitting about 150, I'm going to be mixing these two products together. The Heath Riles uh, vinegar and the sweet sauce. Let it warm up on the grill and do uh, light coats. I'm going to go ahead and finish these out and then we'll come back. Okay, I got these all done. I'm going to go ahead and uh, slide them on the grill. I'm using that cookie sheet um, because I have the Teflon screen and that way it's an easy transfer right over to the uh, grill. So here we have the uh, Green Mountain Daniel Boone. I've gone ahead and put them in there. I'm using the uh, Lumberjack Supreme uh, blend pellets, which is oak, hickory, and cherry. And so you have an idea of what we're looking at here. There they are. So they're on the, uh, the mat, on the grill. And we're gonna let them go up to, I decided to go to 300, get them up to about 150, and then we'll go from there. Yum. Yeah. 